Hey guys, it's Libby from Silverninger and today I'm going to show you what's on my Moto G4. I'm also going to give a mini review on the phone as not a lot of people make videos on this phone. Motorola's kind of been forgotten a little bit, especially to media. They don't really talk about this brand, but they actually make very quality products for a reasonable cheaper price and this phone is honestly really good. This is a little close-up of the phone. It's a nice sleek design with rounded corners and the back is plastic but it actually isn't very cheap looking. It's still nice and it's quite a large phone. It is 5.5 inches diagonally and it's a really nice size because it's not too big or too small for me. It's kind of the perfect size. The cool feature about this phone is if you're picking it up off a table or moving it around a bit, it comes up with the time. It probably doesn't pick up on camera, but you can also unlock it. There's a little button that shows up and then you can put in your passcode or you can also set other ways. This phone does not have a fingerprint sensor though. This is the first page of my phone. It's a 1080 x 920 screen and it's very high quality and at the moment I've got it on full brightness so it can pick up on camera. So I love my home page to be my most used apps. I pretty much never go on my second page but there is apps that I still use on there. So firstly I have this is Google Calendar and it has a lot of events I do during the day. I can also set reminders and things and I don't want to get anything so this is really helpful. I also have a lot of social media on this page. I have my most used here because it's much easier for you to use your thumb to like get to those places. I don't use Snapchat or these ones as much so they're kind of further away. So yes I have Snapchat here. My username is always in the description below. I have this is a YouTube studio and that can help you look at analytics of your videos or reply to comments. I also have Spotify here. It's a great music streaming app and it's good because I don't need to download my music and I'm on a family plan so it's kind of cheaper. I also have YouTube here because I watch so many videos. I also have Gmail and Instagram. I go on this a lot. I love posting pictures and looking at pictures. I also have Twitter which I don't use that much but I do like to occasionally tweet and look at other people's tweets. And I have Google Photos here and LastPass. That's how I store all my passwords so I don't forget any of them. I also have Google Play Store to get apps. I have the camera app. I think this may be the Google one. I don't think this is the stock camera app on Motorola phones. Also Google Chrome, phone, and this is the new Messenger from Google. This is my second page of apps. I've covered up a couple. So first of all, I have Whatify, which is it's basically a gym app because I do CrossFit and you can log in and look at workouts and stuff. This is a bank app, thought I should cover that up. I've got that just to check my balance and things like that. Also Google Keep, super helpful for keeping notes. I've also got Color Switch and Moose which are two different games. I do like this game but I just don't really play a lot of games on my phone. I also have two dots down here. If I'm bored they're there. I also have Amazon Kindle. Musical.ly, I basically never use Musical.ly. But I do have an account and it's on here and I've made like two music leaves. I also have Tumblr. I don't really use this anymore, I can't remember the last time I went on it but I do have a Tumblr and it can be interesting to go on there sometimes. I also have Wattpad. This is great for free books but <laughs> basically anyone can upload a book. I also have my contacts here, that's important. Also this little folder of Kind of photo related apps. I have layout for Instagram, boomerang for Instagram, repost. I repost photos with that app. I also have Avery. I don't use this a ton anymore because I usually have to use my computer to get photos off my massive camera and then put them on the computer and so I usually end up editing them in Photoshop. 
which seems a bit intense, but if you just want a photo editing app on your phone, I would try Avery, I'm pretty sure that's free. I have my mobile provider kind of app here. I also have Facebook Messenger because I like to talk to my friends on there. I also have a third page, but that's just like settings and home and Dropbox. Oh, I actually have Google Trips and QR code reader here as well. Some other features about this phone. I have the 16 gigabyte phone, but you can also get a 32 gig, so you can get a reasonable amount of storage on this phone. So the camera on this is 13 megapixel on the back camera. The front camera I'm not sure, but it's definitely less. Video is 1080p at 30 frames a second, which is really good. And Taking photos is pretty quick and they look reasonable on this phone. This phone was released last year around May and I got it around August so I did get this very new. I actually got this shipped from the US through a shipping company and it ended up being around $300 New Zealand. You can get this phone for $200 US dollars from a US store, but if you're trying to find this phone in New Zealand, it's way overpriced. This was released along with two other phones around the same time, the Moto G4 Plus, which is kind of the same phone but with some larger resolutions, it's a little bit more expensive, and there's also the Moto G4 Play, which was just a bit smaller and less quality to that one. This little box is the turbo power charger for the Moto G4 and this unfortunately is a US port system here but I have got one of those dingly dongly, I don't know what it's called but basically it converts this into a New Zealand port but this can charge your phone so fast it doesn't have to even be used with a Moto G4 because it comes with a micro USB and basically, it can charge any phone apart from an iPhone. Also, some cool things about this phone. If you do this, then the torch comes on. It's actually a bright LED, and it's half yellowy light and half white light, and it's really bright. And I just think that's so cool. You can easily do that. Also, if you twist it like that, then you can turn on the camera. 